Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with a short guide on some vanilla hacks for building. Ark Survival Evolved can be quite tricky sometimes when it comes to building and you'll find that there's some uneven surfaces and it is quite frustrating when you get to one corner piece of a foundation and you can't place it down. So I'm going to show you some simple tricks in order to get around this. Now here's my first example. As you can see here, we've got to a point where we can't continue with the foundations. Now, I'm not using any of the S+, this is completely vanilla. So in order to get around this, one of the tricks that we can use is the pillar trick. So if we just put a pillar down in the center of this foundation, we're creating another snap point. Now this snap point is gonna be slightly lower, but it's gonna allow us to continue with our foundations. And there you go, we found the other snap point. Now if we take away this pillar, you can see we can continue with our foundations. Now here's another little tip as well when it comes to building with ceilings and continuing out using pillars. As you can see, we can come out another two ceiling posts and it won't allow us to go any further. As you can see there, we need some sort of snap point for a foundation. So what you'll find is that many people put a foundation down and it needs to go into the ground and you're left with this ugly pillar sticking up above your ceiling. You can now continue on, on the outside, but I don't like that. I, it always frustrates me when the pillar pokes through the ceiling like that. Now you can go and build over the top and place a load more ceilings, but that's just gonna cost you a lot more materials and in the end, you find that some of your bases can be uneven. So let's get rid of this ceiling and this pillar and let's show you how to do that without that post sticking up through the top. So let's get rid of all of that. And let's do it so we don't get a pillar sticking out through the middle. Now in order to get around this, what you have to do is place a pillar in the center like so. And then there'll be two snap points underneath it. Now I think is that the lowest one? I think that's the lowest one. We'll just go around and check. It's a little bit difficult just to tell there because there's only a short gap. But if we remove this pillar, as you can see, we've pretty much managed to get rid of that ugly pillar sticking through the top of our ceiling. I'm going to carry on out just a little bit further so I can show you a bit better than this because there is a couple of snap points. So we've come out two and it won't allow us to come out with any more ceilings. As you can see, that's going red. So we need to create another foundation support. So what we'll do is put the pillar in the center. And now I should be able to show you better that there's two snap points. So there's that one there. And I actually think that one's a little bit too high. If we get rid of this top pillar, we'll see. Okay, no, that didn't work. Let's try this again up our pillars, place this in the center and there'll be two snap points here. So we want the one that's slightly lower down. If you can see that there's the top one, there's that one that's slightly lower down. We need to connect this foundation to the floor. Now we've got a foundation support. Let's pick that up and there we go. We've got rid of that ugly pillar sticking up through the top of our ceiling. And that's how you get around the building tricks here. So now we could continue with a ceiling and get rid of that foundation I placed in the middle to make this floor completely even. I want to show you another little trick that you'll quite often see me use in my builds. And that's using a pillar in the corner of a foundation. I'm just going to go and grab some stone pillars to do this because I like experimenting with different textures as well. We could do this with metal or stone. I've just got some stone pillars here. I want to place them in the corner. So in order to do that, we need to use some fence foundations. And this kind of gets rid of them square looking buildings and just adds another layer of texture and can quite often make your builds stand out much more. Let's just grab these foundations. 
Now, as you see, if we try and place a pillar in the corner, just get my ceilings out. It'll only allow us to snap it to the middle sections of the foundation. So we need to create another snap point. Because I want that in the corner. So in order to do that, I need to... Oh, I've made some fence posts. I need fence foundations. Let's just quickly make a fence foundation. Just grab a little bit of wood and thatch. That should do it. I only need the one. Uh, where are we? Fence foundations. There we go. Let's just create one of those. Foundations and pillars can be really useful in creating different snap points. Just drop that wood. So if I just place a fence foundation in the corner here, you'll see it's quite well hidden. And now we can snap a pillar to the corner of our build. From there we can put some walls around the outside. And rather than just having that square looking box, just added another texture and uh, I'm, I really like doing this. You'll, you'll quite often see me do this in my build. So starting with the foundation and then working up, you can create that extra element. So let's just put a couple more walls down and you'll quite often see me building using that little trick. I like adding that extra element of texture. And if you're building out of stone, then you can use a wooden pillar on the outside. Again, that foundation there is uneven, so we could delete that now and continue with the ceiling and that would be a completely even surface. So there you have it. Go out and experiment with pillars and foundation supports, fence foundation supports. And uh, there's some vanilla hacks for you that will work on all formats. So I hope you found that one useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I do plenty of other Ark Survival guides, tips and tricks videos. But go out and experiment with pillars and foundations. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.